Hello students, today in fluid mechanics laboratory we will find out the discharge, the coefficient of discharge for, uh, through the orifice meter. You know uh, orifice meter uh, is having a small uh, diameter orifice uh, through the cross section of a pipe. In this, uh, this is the apparatus for uh, our current experiments and uh, on the second pipe uh, there is uh, our orifice and uh, it is connected with uh, a pipe inlet and also a pipe outlet and we will now this is in closed position we will open it again here and again here and also this there is a second pipe also so we have to close that pipe from both sides we will open uh, this one pipe or we will select that pipe which is having our orifice meter so i have open this valve and close another pipe Good. it so when i will start my pump our water will start to flow through this pipe and it will flow in the second pipe not in the first one because i have closed this one so it will start flowing through this pipe and i have also opened this uh, connecting pipes these connecting pipes are connected with U2 manometer. This is our U2 manometer. Different readings have been given on it, and there is a uh, level of mercury at inlet and outlet. When there is a pressure difference, then there will be a different reading for the uh, this valve, this side, and also in this side. When there is a pressure difference across the pipe, because this is connected with inlet, and this is connected with outlet. Put it so what we will do we will start our uh, water pump here i have start uh, my water pump what is now our water is flowing from the second pipe in which our orifice meter is connected this orifice is connected the, uh, we can directly see that uh, there is a bubble uh, in some time that will be also removed so our water is flowing through this pipe and it is collecting in this collection tank. For it, in collection tank there is also a pipe with some readings on it and uh, we can find out the level of that collecting tank, uh, level of water in that collecting tank through this reading and that will need for our experimentation. For it, so uh, let us see in our manual. Uh, in our manual there is a, an observation table and also some data is given this is for orifice meter and uh, there are some data given inlet diameter of the orifice uh, i have shown you uh, our orifice this uh, this one is our orifice and this is inlet means inlet diameter at this orifice and there is outlet small d that is outlet diameter Again, crook section area at inlet and outlet also, and then uh, some data for the collecting tank also given its width, its length, and then the total area. Also, uh, acceleration due to gravity, we all know that that is 9.81 meter per second square, that is also given. So, we know the formula for finding uh, the vertical discharge is A multiplied by small a, here, uh, capital A is the area at inlet of orifice and small a is the area at the inlet uh, outlet of the uh, orifice so then there is under the root 2 g g is our acceleration due to gravity then 13.6 that is for mercury and then there is delta h delta h is the difference in the reading in our manometer i have shown you then when there is a pressure difference then from here we can find out our uh, two readings and inlet and outlet and then we will uh, differentiate uh, we will subtract it and we will get delta h got it so from there we can find out vertical discharge now uh, it's done for actual discharge q a that is actual discharge a t a t we know that that is the total area of the collecting tank and i have shown you this is our collecting tank then there is a uh, second term is df df is the difference in the readings Suppose uh, water level of uh, this tank is uh, right from uh, uh, here is a suppose 5 reading and there is a 15. 
so total water level rise is 10 cm that 10 cm if i will convert into meter then it will be 0 0.10 uh, meter, uh, meter and that will be our df and there is another term t t is the time taken by the water uh, during rising in this collecting tank suppose i have taken initial reading here at uh, 5 and then i have start uh, our stopwatch we will use our uh, stopwatch and keep it handy okay when i will start my first reading i will uh, take my initial reading suppose there is a uh, 3 if i will uh, open it and uh, if i will open it now its level is decreasing i will for the initial reading i will take suppose uh, here uh, 3 or 5 we can take any initial reading it is now decreasing let it come to uh, let us say it will come just 5 now now it is uh, 4 and half it is 4 and half that will be our initial reading put it uh, open the pump now water is flowing in this tank put it well, I will be rising I have taken 5 I have start my stove bath this stove bath is start and level is rising suppose I will take that level up to I have start from 5 and I will take it to 15 how much time it will take that we will note uh, that is going on level is rising again and again and uh, it is near 15 and it is 15 so I will stop it now this is our time t taken by that water to rise up to that level put it so so here we will write that time reading in our observation table we have an observation table here this is our observation table i have taken some uh, initial reading for the demonstration uh, suppose initial tank reading initial tank reading we have taken 5 we can write here 5 then final tank reading we have taken 15 then we will take here 15 and again difference in tank reading then that will be difference of these two final minus final minus initial one and we will take in meter remember one it will be in meter got it and time taken that in second here we have taken time that is uh, 17 uh, 27 seconds got it and manometer reading and manometer reading is the difference when we close uh, when we close uh, when water is flowing through the orifice see there there is a difference in initial reading that is uh, at the level of 180 and in the second tube the level is almost 70 so this difference means from 70 to 180 that is almost 110 that is delta h is equal to 110 for the first reading so uh, from here we can calculate all the reading now now we will uh, use the formula which i have shown you for the theoretical one this one for the theoretical one we will put all these value delta h and all the given values and we will find out theoretical discharge and again actual discharge there is also formula for actual discharge that is at multiplied by df and divided by t from this formula we know value of t in second df in meter and again this there will be actual discharge we will find out that value and, and then next one which is our aim uh, to find out the coefficient of discharge cd and that is the ratio of our actual discharge with the theoretical uh, discharge so in this column we have our actual discharge this is theoretical discharge the ratio of actual discharge to the theoretical discharge that will give us coefficient of discharge and we will uh, take these reading or repeat this experiment two or three times three or four times and uh, that will be for the different flow how how can we differentiate that flow we what we will do for the second reading uh, we will open some uh, we will uh, close some opening of the second pipe it means the pressure in the pipe is increased as the pressure is increased then all the reading across this orifice meter is changed and uh, this reading will be shown through this u2 manometer and again 
uh, if we close that uh, valve, then the uh, amount of water is discharged that will be less and we will get a less reading or uh, that time will be changed for it and so that we can repeat this experiment three or four times and then we will take average of CD means average of all these reading from here we can find out uh, coefficient of this discharge so this is the demonstration for the uh, orifice meter and uh, we can uh, do it uh, uh, very efficiently but uh, always remember that we have to take uh, care of also this uh, equipment so that there must be not any overflow water if uh, uh, water is all overflowed from this uh, collecting tank that that will spoil our pump also and there can be more damage so there must be some precaution and, uh, during uh, doing these experiments and uh, hope you will uh, learn about it thank you